Hello, Patrick Walchuk here with an update on the Ottawa real estate market to the end of 2022. So uh, welcome to and happy 2023. So for the investment market, if you enjoy getting these videos, click on the subscription button, hit the notification bell, and we'll get them sent out to you every 30 days. So as we usually do, we're looking at the total year for the smaller units, and that's buildings with two to four units in them. And what happened uh, in 2022 is that there were 106 properties that sold, and that's a decline of about 36%. And I think if we graphed that out, what we would see is that as the year progressed, sales declined, the same as with regular residential properties, because mortgage rates increased. So we had that pretty significant decline. And that happened because they became more unaffordable based upon seller's expectations and buyer's expectations basically not coming together. So uh, the average price of this type of property was a million thirty nine thousand basically. And that was basically flat with the uh, previous year. And in terms of how long it took to sell, they're selling in about the same amount of time in 53 days. So when we move on to the larger buildings, those with five or more units in them, um, we had about 28 of them sell. So this is a rather typical Ottawa year, you know, 22, 28, that kind of thing. Uh, so the increase looks huge <clears throat> at 17%, but you can see here on the screen, it's only an increase of four units compared to 2021. Now the average price, um, was a little over 2.2 million and it says this is a decline of about 19 percent but again we had a couple of um, uh, more expensive buildings sell in the previous year and it kind of skews the numbers when you have such a small uh, sample to to work from so prices weren't really down by by that much i don't believe um, and in terms of how long it took these buildings to sell it was about the same amount of time they were selling in 82 days thank you for watching